Okay, today we're going to have a look at a Cincinnati uh, centerless grinder. This is a Model 2 OM. Uh, these are very highly regarded in the centerless grinding industry. Uh, a lot of people get a hold of these and remanufacture them, as this one was remanufactured at one point by this Airtronics. Uh, this is in very nice condition right now. We've done a lot of uh, maintenance to it ourselves. We've removed the two dressers and gone through them, cleaned them all up nice. We had to get a new uh, a valve for this dresser here, or a reconditioned valve. And um, this is currently wired for 220 volts. It does have an uh, automatic infeed device on it. Uh, this can be timed with a loader so that it can load and unload parts with a mechanical loader. Um, or in the case of what we have on here right now actually is a through feed uh, setup where you can just run your bar uh, through here and depending on the angle that you have this grind regulating wheel on it will pull it through at a certain speed. So basically um, the quotation is going to tell you a lot about it but the machine has been completely updated uh, behind the door here are all new components which we'll show you in the still photos and um, this regulating wheel here has been updated with a variable speed drive where I can increase or decrease this and we have the readout, uh, the digital readout up on top here. So you usually go faster for dressing and uh, you know a slower speed for your actual grinding. Now you have your dressers here which you can adjust that speed back and forth and it follows a cam here so if you wanted to use a cam it has a follower um, also your down feed with the diamond up here and we also have a regulating valve right behind here a knob that you would turn to slow down or increase the feed same here with this you've got a rapid movement you also have a fine feed that you can adjust with your uh, adjustment knob. But right now we're actually moving. Uh, this is the fast speed. This is the slow speed going back in for dressing and then the rapid speed to put it back. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, so if you were buying this machine and you only were interested in through feed grinding then uh, you would bring the wheel in until your part was the right diameter, lock the whole machine down it, and at that point uh, that's where you would run your bar through and as you dress your wheel and sizes change you have to make some adjustments. If you were doing in-feed grinding where you were putting a part between the centers manually or with a loader and it was coming in and grinding it and then opening and that part gets ejected or removed somehow then you would use uh, this. Uh, so what I did here, what happens when I press the button in the in-feed mode, the wheel's going to go forward uh, at a certain speed, it's going to stop, and it's going to start to do its feed rate. It's going to get to the end of its travel, or zero, and then it's going to start a dwell time. And at the end of that, it's going to retract and go back again. That's one cycle. It also has a continuous that you would set up along with your loader so that this can go in and out, in and out, at the same time, parts being put in and picked up. Um, but we're not doing that here, so I'm just going to show you, if you move the camera in here a little bit. I've got this crude set up here with the indicator. When I press the start button, we're going to wrap it in to a certain point, which you set on this. Uh, that's your stock removal, and then we're going to feed. Now the feed rate can be adjusted by the knobs on, these, on this in-feed box, as well as the point where uh, the fast feed stops and the fine or, or grinding feed begins. So it's going to go down to zero and sit there for a little bit until the spark out and then the whole thing goes back again. So I'll show you that one more time. Any fine adjustments if your part's not the right size it gets adjusted with the, with the main hand wheel of the grinder. Now in this case we're only moving this upper slide uh, that's why I have this slide loose and I have this slide tight. Uh, if we wanted to move the bottom slide, then we would loosen the top slide and our hand wheel would now move uh, the work rest blade into the main grinding wheel. Where right now we're moving the work rest, uh, the, the, the work wheel or the regulating wheel, we're moving that and not moving the, uh, 
the main wheel closer to the uh, work rest. So if you were just going to do a regular uh, through feed setup, this will go in. It's going to feed down and wants to, you want to make sure that it feeds down to its zero so that it's up against its hard stops and make final size adjustments with the, with the hand wheel here and that's how you would set that up. Now that's not going to spark out anymore, it's just going to stay there until uh, you come off the switch over here or until you're done uh, with this particular setup. So once this is all the way down to zero, it's going to stay there and now uh, you can come in with your grinding wheel and make your part exactly the right size. So that would be for through feed grinding. I have the cover off here just, just for a video. Uh, the photos we take in a minute will show you that on there, as well as the electrics. So we want to walk around here a little bit. This is all part of this in-feed mechanism. Some just have a wheel here, a ship's wheel. Uh, that's all, uh, this is all replacing that, and there's uh, lots of stuff going on in there. It's a brand new uh, lubrication system with all new lines and metering units. And overall, the machine is in really nice shape. Uh, behind it here we have a Barnes uh, magnetic and fabric filter, meaning it has a big uh, magnetic drum and also a uh, paper, uh, a paper filter that goes around, a roll of paper that goes around on this chain conveyor. Uh, when it gets clogged up, uh, the water level will rise, uh, activating a float ball, a float switch, which in turn activates a motor, which will advance uh, the paper to a clean spot. Now, this is also 220 volts. These two things go together. This came with it. This also has a refrigeration unit in it uh, that we haven't bothered to get involved with because it has some uh, Freon and some uh, other stuff that needs to be recharged by somebody qualified to do that. Uh, it may be possible that you're not interested in having a refrigeration with your coolant. Uh, but if you are, uh, then that can certainly be resurrected. Right now, we've got a huge, gigantic gusher pump here. We've got a paper band filter as well as a magnetic filter. So um, the refrigeration part, if that's needed, uh, we can get that working for you. All right, so that's it. That's the Cincinnati 2OM.